Yes, yes, y'all. Guess who's back? Chad Diamond Danbury and your boy, the Gridmaster. Hello. Hello, hello. For your August 2022. Going to be on the 11th, so we're two days early right now, but close enough. Doesn't really matter that much. We're in the window. What yes. kind of full moon are we dealing with? This is a reaping sturgeon moon. I like to combine the names because I like to combine cultures. It's fun that way. Mm -hmm. And with reaping, that's typically, at least in the past, before all this insane climate change started happening, this is the time of the first harvest. This is when we begin to cultivate those, like the first chunks of corn and wheat and stuff that are we planted early on in the year. Mm. And with the sturgeon, this is also the time that this particularly large fish would be more prevalent within channels and lakes and you'd collect something like this because it's a very large and abundant animal mm. so this is the beginning times to reap the abundance of our harvest and from that like this is basically what have we done this year and particularly this is reaping our son's reward Mm. Basically, what has our sun, our soul sign, has been working on this year? Because you're going to kind of reap the rewards of it. Uh, for some people, like it started out a little bit rocky, but then everything building up to this point was all about, okay, taking slow time in the winter to then plant seeds, till the earth, do all the work during the spring, and then, you know, take a little bit of time the beginning of summer and then bam here it all comes crazy i can right. resonate with that exactly it's like same here it's like it took, this year started rough mm -hmm. right it was very rocky very kind of disruptive mm -hmm. it was a shit show it was a shit show and then we've took some time to reestablish this ground that we're trying to work with all the seeds that we're planting changing out essentially our diet for our soul and the lifestyle that we're choosing to live on and then did all the work and now is the time where things have started to grow hopefully we were able to keep them under you know control during this excessive heat of the summer Mm. So if you were doing the right things to protect and maintain that kind of energy and growth throughout the year, like now you're going to be able to see the reward for it. If you were neglectful, like you just lost half your crop, and you're going to get half of the reward. So it's all very dependent on how much work you're putting in. Preach. And that being said, let's take a quick look at what we're going to be working with today. How's that feel? Let's jump in. And make sure you guys, before you get started, Aaron, we love that you're here on our YouTube page. Yes. Make sure you comment below and let us know how we're doing. And if you have any questions, questions, chaosgrids at gmail.com. Of course, you'll find in the description, Sir Aaron, the first of his name, the last of his kind. What do we have for this Thank month? You. And that in mind, I will also be very good at <laughs> comment, replying to comments yes. when I see them. Uh, like We just want to support spread all of this and just kind of share this information mm -hmm. because I can't reiterate enough that this isn't something I'm doing just for me or just for the people that I personally know and share. Mm -hmm. This is stuff that when I've gone back and looked at it, I've seen it happening on a global scale. Mm. And it's like, it's more prevalent, you know, and easier to see in the closer areas that I'm in and interacting with the people that have the direct access. But it's like, I'm, you still see those ripples as it's going yeah, they play out. out. And, like, it's been pretty intense. I mean, shit. We just hit the, um, what was it, Lionsgate thing on the same day that Trump's Mar-a-Lago got fucking search warranted. You can't make that shit up. Right? Though. You can't say the lion strikes without some shit like that. And this type of energy that we're working with this month is kind of a reinforcement of that energy, right? So it's like 
Shit's been going down. We've been putting in the work. Let's collect. Right? Let's collect, baby. What do we got? Starting with here, we got lovely sunstone. We've worked with this before. It's of the it's a feldspar it's related to moonstone and labradorite and things of that nature. It's a great uh, lower three chakra stone. Um, it helps to link you to our life's current incarnation. Um, helpful to fill our karmic contracts or renegotiate the ones that exist if they're no longer applicable. Mm. Right? Like, how often do you find yourself trying to deal with some kind of karmic baggage or bullshit that has zero relevance in your life? Right? Like, there is no reason why you feel a certain way, believe a certain thing, and whatnot. And it's like, these beliefs and these concepts are hindering me, and I don't know why. Mm. And it's like, well, that's because your life's like 17 lifetimes ago dealt with literal like starvation mindset where they couldn't find food because it was in the middle of like an ice age or like um being part of a time of a literal witch hunt where doors were being broken in and people taken out of it in their sleep and then essentially being hung and burned alive we might metaphorically kind of think that's happening, yeah. but it's not happening because we, we would know. Like, that shit's horrible. I like, guess there are some countries which are, but if you're not in those countries, that's not your current karma. You're holding on to that's not going to help you. Mm. Unless, like, you're utilizing that to direct yourself to assisting those people. If you're not, stop. <laughs> um time to go within y'all right because again sunstone is also great at um protecting against destructive forces and instilling a joy in life with heightened intuition um it restores that sweetness in life and helps you to regain a sense of self self-nurturing to bring forth who you truly are and in olden times it was said to be linked to gods of luck and fortune as well as, you know, with the name Sunstone. Mm -hmm. It's a Sunstone, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> um, it helps to remove vampire cooks from the chakra or aura, and therefore being really good in cord-cutting type practices. It helps you to say no and stop excessive sacrifice. And removing outside discrimination, disadvantage, and abandonment. So it's like... If you work with ourself and you take care of the things you need to take care of, all that shit that other people are saying is bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like, nine times out of ten, it's just pure jealousy from them because they can't live their life the way you are. And if that's someone's projection being put onto you, it's like, you don't need that. Like, cut that shit off, let it mm -hmm. go. Focus on what brings you joy, what brings life that pure taste of just bliss. Right? True freedom. True, True real freedom. freedom. Right? Because you can't have that if you're constantly worried about what other people are mm -hmm. thinking about you. Yeah. Right? And these are great words I'd like to just show the people real quick. Someday this book will be found by uh, when, when we are the ancient ones. And I, <laughs> I like to call it the kibble, which is... Crystal Chaos instructions before leaving the earth. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. So it'd be C K I B L E, the kibble. All right. <laughs> and then next we're coming down here to this lovely multicolor mm. menagerie. Wow, that was Jasper? Yes, this is a Jasper. This is particularly Mook Jasper or Mookite wow, Jasper. Wow, guys, look at this. Look how beautiful these are. All right. Um, again, this is a great lower chakra stone going solar sickle and mm -hmm. root chakra. Like all sh uh, jaspers, it's a great um, shamanic stone. Like red Beautiful. jasper and yellow jasper particularly. Like They've been used for thousands of years by shamans just for protective work. And it's also really great to carve. It's nice and soft for that. Um, it's said to have a very powerful link to the dream space and ancestral wisdom. So 
you could probably expect there because as you can see there's quite a bit of these guys gonna be pretty hefty the in the dream realm area which it says an aquarius full moon that uh, makes a lot of sense you know mm -hmm. as well as being the heart of leo season like you gotta see yourself on stage mm. before you can be willing to walk up on it right Oof. Preach. It's a very nurturing stone, helps to sustain and support during difficult times of stress, helping to maintain a sense of peace and wholeness, which we all need to, you know, keep ourselves together when shit gets hard. Mm -hmm. Because just because it's hard doesn't mean it's a bad thing, right? No. Nope. Helps to encourage versatility, accepting change, new ideas, and, dis um, and discovering all possibilities in a situation. And help you to choose the right one, right? Because everything we do, we have multiple ways of doing it. True. And some of those ways make your life a hell of a lot harder. Some of those ways are following a very strict regimented rules and instructions that have been drilled in over and over and over again. The like, pattern must go like this. But then at the same time, there's a path where you can still follow some of those rules and regulations, but do it quicker, do it easier, and do it better. Mm. Yeah, and I think it works differently with every everybody. It depends on their like commitment level of what they're committed right? to and how they want to live their life. Right? Right? Like, for instance, when it comes to cooking, like one of the things I always sit, wonder is, like, why do people spend so much time peeling their vegetables when it's like the nutrients of that vegetable is right under the skin? Mm -hmm. So instead of peeling it, you grab your sponge that has those little bristles on it, mm -hmm. run it under cold water, so it's like you have to wash it off anyway, hit it with a sponge so you're taking off that full layer of dirt, still leaving that final layer and all of those nutrients intact. So then you're now utilizing everything and not losing it in the process of peeling. Because mm. like how much do you take off? Like a full, it's not just the skin, but a whole chunk of that first layer. So you got so much waste. Mm -hmm. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, again, it's very grounding, helps provide a protective energy and uh, remove uh, any outside influences. Nice, baby. So already you, you can see these it, uh, overlaps between the, the, the theme, sunstone yeah. here. It's like, Jasper. work through your shit. It might be a little bit difficult because it might be hot, but during the time of the harvest, it is a hell of a lot of work. But you do the work and you do it right, you're able to gain more and have essentially fuller stores come the winter, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, do it right, but don't, also don't overwork yourself, there. right? Because when you do that, now you're taking the joy out of the work and fuck that shit. You sure this isn't a crystal reading for me, sir? I mean, <laughs> it when, I, when I put this grid in Because it sounds place, familiar. Like, as I was getting the influence of what to use i'm like man these sound like chad <laughs> like this this is gonna be a fucking chad month man well that's what you hit me up the other day you're like yo it's your chad month man like, right and even when i was <laughs> i think writing this last year i think i sent you a message and i gave you like okay so I wanna oh work, yeah you were like i want to work with sunstone bloodstone pyrite um and i think uh stib knife because it has this type of thing yeah and I'm thinking tech type because I know how you love your alien shit. Mm -hmm. What am I missing? What do you want me to throw in here? You thought for like five minutes and sent back Mook like Jasper. Mm -hmm. right? and I was like, wondering. That's why I seen him. Like, I love Mook. Right? Exactly. So I was like, this is pure on chat energy right now. So Beautiful. You want to feel that hype, man? This is your month. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Next, we're going to go over to these lovely guys. As you can see, this is the next large batch. So this is going to have... A, just as much influence as all of the uh, Mookite Jasper. This is Bloodstone, mm. or also known as Heliotrope. It's a, it's similar. Mm. It's got like Jasper and other different types of stones kind of mixed together, but it's different okay. still. Uh, this one's more of a heart chakra and a heart, high heart, but it also cleanses and realigns everything below it. Because it's a... Makes sense. Right? And it's like, as you can see by the name, it's very much... It's going to work the heart. It's going to work blood flow. It's going to help your immune system function. 
And it's like, especially with this new influx of disease that's basically smallpox but different. Like, that's fucked up. <laughs> you need to be healthy, you need to be doing the right thing. So take care of yourself while this is happening. And with that being said, it's also, by being a heart stone, it's very good at helping you live in the present moment. Because you can't, like, remember, like, oh, the struggles you had in the past, they might come back in the future because the cycle that we tend to go through, it's more like, okay, those things exist, but right here, right now is more important. The work mm -hmm. I got to put in right now is more important. What I need to focus on, what I need to make move is more important. And this has been used for, just like Jasper, for fucking centuries. Traced all the way back to, like, ancient Babylon. So. And back then it was used for all sorts of shit. Which is like, okay, this is a little on the wonky side. Weather control and... Tearing down <laughs> enemy walls kind of things. It's like, okay, cool. A little extra. <laughs> a little extra. <clears throat> but at the same time, it's also said to help banish negativity and evil and um, direct spiritual energy. Which is probably why a lot of ancient cultures were using it. Exactly. And it's said to be an audible oracle, kind of like both ruby and garnet can be, where... Should danger be coming, mm -hmm. this will react in some way. Just like, you know, ru both Ruby and Garnet tend to get darker in this um, presence of issues, right? So, and then beyond that, I already mentioned all the heart and blood stuff. Mm -hmm. It's again very grounding and protective, even though it is a heart stone. So it's taking that heart energy and bringing it to the ground. Um, it helps you to avoid danger and to utilize concepts of strategic withdrawal and flexibility. Mm. So when you see a problem occurring, instead of being stuck in the rapids and going with the flow as it's going to get bad, you can divert yourself and either jump off the river now or take the slower path that'll be less exciting but also a lot less likely to cause you issues mm. right um, yeah, again the three main concepts of bloodstone are strength courage and vitality perfect right. next we're gonna shoot up to these lovely dark guys that is tectite tectite and tectite is basically a dark moldavite that isn't from the Moldova region in Czechoslovakia. Um, a lot of these particularly came from like China, I believe, or Tibet. And these ones, they're called Agnes Minite, which come from, I believe, Colombia. Nice. And being from a meteoric impact causing as like the ground to not solidify, but turn into glass. Um, it's said to be very helpful communicating with extraterrestrials and by uh, absorbing high access to higher knowledge. Mm. So by opening yourself up and the ability to take in that knowledge, it makes you more aware to even hear or pay attention to things that aren't of this world. Um, it helps to release undesirable um, experiences while remembering the lessons that attach to them. So, like, this is another one of those things, like, you may have gone through shit in the past, but that doesn't mean that that's going to happen again, or that it has any relevance to what hap is happening today. And so, let that shit go. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, don't forget any lessons that have taught you. Mm -hmm. Like, we've gone through shit, we've experienced all sorts of pains and hurts and traumas over the year, and... If That's you true. get to the point where you start projecting all of those experiences onto present interactions, you're never going to actually have a new experience that's going to change you. Well, the messed up thing is, is most people don't even know they're projecting. They're 
right. pain and trauma on to other people because they don't have that self awareness, unfortunately. It, it, yeah, that is very true. And people that do have self awareness, it's a constantly battle to keep reminding yourself, oh, this is what I'm actually doing. Right. You know, it's a fucking crazy process. The hardest part about being self aware is the fact you're self aware. <laughs> like, exactly. It sucks. Yeah. Like constantly watching yourself through a outside perspective changes so much and it sucks yeah. <laughs> but, but again, yes please do that right don't throw your shit on other people what you're saying yeah i just wanted to recognize that like you know a lot of people are unconscious that they're even fucking doing that because they, oh, yeah. they haven't even explored this type of thought oh yeah um, it's like we're not taught to we're not no. guided to like hey look into yourself why are you acting this way yeah you know it's the concept of like a lot of people need therapy a lot of people actually probably don't if the more self-aware you are i feel the less you need therapy because a lot of the things that you do on your day-to-day -day basis it's basically therapy is therapy yeah. like i was doing something for like i was doing art for years and it wasn't until after my cat died that I realized the art that I was doing was akin to art therapy. And it's like, I know people who are professional art therapists that when I've shown them my work, they just loved it and just, like, so just said, keep doing what you're doing, you're on the right track. So, and it's like, I, and people pay to have somebody help you do art. Mm -hmm. or to express yourself in a way that just makes you feel good it's like holy shit just to think about the fact that people it's powerful don't man. know how to do that for themselves like it makes you sad mm -hmm. so yeah so just taking some time to just really learn who you are pay attention learn who you are lad right and this and tech tech's really good for that because it helps to strengthen our electromagnetic fields so it's like our basically our aura nice. makes it stronger but also pulls it in kind of like a like a like a nice glove around you so it's like you, you can feel that this is your energy and not anyone else's mm -hmm. and it also helps to really balance both masculine and feminine aspects of the personality because not a single person is 100 percent masculine or 100% feminine. There are aspects of both that we all embody and should embrace. And they, it's Amen. not a bad thing. You know, it's like, depending on some mindsets, certain things like taking care of, like cleaning or cooking are feminine ideals and blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, not. That has nothing to even do with it. Right? It's like... That's it, just some bullshit fucking program. Right? It's like when you really think about it, it's like that's taking care of the household, nurturing and providing for the family. It's like, don't you do that exact same thing when you go and you work to bring home money? But that's just this monetary currency that we've been forced to believe is what makes a happy house a happy house. It's like, no, it's keeping it clean, keeping it orderly, making food for yourself and your family and your loved ones, taking time to just do shit with other people. Like, that's not, like, a girly thing. <laughs> like, no. that's the most, like, pure thing anyone could do. And we've gotten into our minds, it's like, oh, that's so girly. Or it's like you see a woman doing something, like, weightlifting, and you're like, ah, oh, she's butch. It's like because she wants to be stronger to yeah, I think chicks do whatever. That are fucking like super in shape. I love it. Right? It's like that's just an inspiration to the point. Mm -hmm. It kind of scares me a little bit. No lie. I'm going low with the power angle right now. I got you. I got Is that you. okay? I just sit down for a second. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll just move this guy out of the way quick. What do we got? Because we're gonna go over here. To pirate. Huh? Yep. Pirate. Want to chat? Sir Chad's personal favorites. Yes, sir. And you can see all the different kind of formations of it, like the raw, chunky little cubes migrated together, the large cube. It's like, crazy. I, one of the things that I love about pyrite is it is nature's way of saying, yes, we do sharp angles. 
Mm. We do structure in rigidity, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you have that structure and you have that stability, you can build upon that. You can create, right? And it's like, although pyrite is also been given the nickname of fool's gold, it's also been used to create fire. It's used to create stability. Um, it's an energetic shield that creates positive outlooks. So, you know, removes the negativity from inside your own mind, right? It helps to just block it, that negative and like pollution type energy on all levels, not just, you know, on our energetic, spiritual, emotional stuff. But if you were to utilize this in like nature, it helps keep it clean mm. it's like anywhere you can find pyrite prevalently is in some of the purest parts of nature right like that's going up in the mountains mm. like in the rivers of that clear running water yeah it probably has bacteria and shit you probably shouldn't drink but still <laughs> like that's some clean ass water compared to what some people have access to right? you can boil it though right if you exactly. boil it exactly um, it helps you to see beyond the facade of what is. Because, like, so much, like, we find things are wearing masks to hide, just, like, play this role. And it's like, why is nothing authentic? You know? Because people, people know. are so convinced that because of its color, that this is gold, because they want it to be gold so much. Mm. When it's like, why does it have to be gold? Especially when you know how gold forms and what it normally looks like. How do you even be fooled that this was gold? Right? It's the desire that wanting something to have such an increased higher value apparently makes it seem better. Mm. But it's like, who gave it that value? Somebody did. Right? Because I feel the biggest facade is basically monetary value. Anything that could be dictated by a concept of worth, mm. right? Because when worth it comes through, it's like, that's so like financially minded that it's like you can't see like the value or the benefit of something if you're not also gaining in return mm. like like fuck that <laughs> right mm -hmm. it's like if we got rid of money there are people who believe the world would completely stop but it's like if we got rid of money and also just provided for people it's like you need a house there's an empty one right over there. You want to move in with some of your friends? Go right ahead. You want to go out into the fields and just pick your own food from the farm? Do it. Fill your coffers. We have so much. Uh, you can go and see like these large corporate stores throwing it away by the <laughs> millions of dollars every day because of an expiration date. Right? Throwing away fresh produce because it doesn't look the greatest and we couldn't sell it fast enough. Mm. It's like we wouldn't have to throw away food if we gave it away. Mm. And we wouldn't have to worry about the profit that you would be losing because you're just giving away food if it's free. Right? So if we met basic needs, we don't need money. Yeah. Right? I mean, so it's I like, that's the biggest facade. We've been so indoctrinated into believing it and needing it that it's like, we have to completely disrupt and disorganize an entire global system. And now I'm getting on a political rant of global domination, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> Let's keep it on. The Let's grand. keep going. We're <laughs> right? 30 minutes in. Doug. 30 minutes in. Okay. We got Stib Knight over here. Stib Knight, Ooh, this nice. is a wolf totem stone. It is an antimony sulfide. It's used to help separate gold from its impurities. Basically, 
separating the pure from the dross or the impure. That's beautiful stone. Right? It's another entity possession and a negative energy releasing stone. It's protective and shielding, particularly during meditation, helping you to find the gold in your center, illuminating the gifts that you forget you have. Um, and again, helps to remove tentacles and tendrils from a clingy, toxic relationship, especially after that separation. It's a cut cord cutter and releases past life issues, especially when you struggle to say no to former partners. Mm. And if you haven't been able to do that, this is something that can help. And it's another way of really re-solidifying and grounding in all those aspects of this is my space and my shit. If you're feeding off of me, I don't want you. If you're leeching off of me, I don't want you. You're not helpful. You don't bring anything to this table. And so, yeah, as you can see, that's basically all the big players we're working with today. And then, of course, as you look over here, this is copper. Copper is just a wonderful conductor. It's grounding. It's spiritually just kind of zoomy it's good to have for a moon like this right and it's like it fits in the color scheme it fits in the energy we're trying to work with because yeah it's particularly really good at helping to ground any higher vibrations that we're working with especially since you've got that tech tight you've got that moon guy working with like that higher energy dream space mm -hmm. this way it's going to help to bring it down and solidify get it down into that heart so it can be aligned with our lower chakras and get this shit moving. Get that root, right. root, root going. This, this is going to be a little bit less of a expressive, creative kind of place. But also, it's like, you might not be utilizing these things, but they're in constant play. They're just, you know, yep. they're the captain of the ship, right? While these guys are the crew. Mm. So, or it's more like, you got the captain, the crow's nest, and the sailor, or the boats here. The captain? The, no, first mate. Uh, oh, the first mate, yeah. yeah. And then, then, like, this is the crew doing their shit, getting the work done. All right, so. Let's call them in. Let's call in the directions and get this shit moving. And to the east. To the wind and the dragon's wing, to flight, movement, and freedom, to endless seeking of knowledge and abundance, all the things that fly in the air, all the celestial beings, we welcome you in. To our summer fun. Summer fun. To the south. To the fire and our lady salamander. To the raging infernos that burn deep inside us. To the lights that guide us. To the warmth that keeps us. <laughs> I don't even know. Just the warmth of our souls. Yeah. The blood in our veins. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> My blood stomach grumbling. That warmth in our blood to keep it flowing, to keep us moving, to keep us seeking our passion. We welcome you in. Welcome. When you fuck up, that's how you know it's real. <laughs> <laughs> to the west. To the earth goddess, to the serpent skin, to the ground beneath our feet, to all the plants, bugs, animals, all the things that live upon her surface, all the things that were, that have been, that are, and have yet to be. We thank you for your abundance and nurturing as we welcome you into our circle. Welcome. And to the north, to the waters, to the endless ocean, to the great leviathans within, to 
to this endless flow of emotion and wisdom, of knowing and intuition, of all the things we know and, not, and know not, and all that we keep seeking within our souls. We welcome you. Our sky father, the great watcher above, the serpent in the skies, looking down upon us, the bringer of life and creation. We bring you into our circle to guide us, to lead us, and to show us our way. Mm. to the essence of the present of now and bring to keep us ever flowing in the ways of the world. Oh, God, this is making me hungry. <laughs> Directions always might put a little rumble in your tummy. Aaron, I'm gonna set this right here for a second so I can go to the bathroom. Oh, damn, look at that angle. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Chad Diamond Damber right here. The sidekick behind the camera i'm just going to use the facilities real quick but you got that front angle of aaron building the beautiful grid right here i'll be right back when that energy is flowing shit starts to move yeah, Aaron, I hope you're talking to the people when I'm gone. I did a little bit. I was 
You see what happens, guys? I, I leave this masterful crystal grid builder to himself, and he, he won't even talk to you. What's up, Eric? Come on, baby. Talk to the people. I'm thinking, God damn it. All right, all right. Well, that's the thing. Usually you're thinking, and then I'll just comment. But. I don't know. I, I'm harassing you a bit. Your fans, you know, they want to hear from you. I'm just the silly boy behind the camera. You're the star of the show, man. Oh, I know. They need this silky voice in their life. Like, I've had three orgasms since I got here just from the sound of your voice. So, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, talk about these little copper. I didn't realize you were going to go full Vogel wand into a copper conductor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just seemed like a fun idea. I utilized these guys last time. They seemed to have well, you, fun. You said this seems like it's not going to be a, as much of a creative grid. I feel like this is making me want to create right now. Like, what the fuck? Like, well, <laughs> expressively creative, you know, like this type of creativity. I'm, this We're this type of creativity down here. Okay. That, like, creative fire, that passion and drive. Okay, okay. Energy. That makes sense. They're similar but different, okay? So you got to... Yeah, no, I just, I just, you know, me being a creative person, I see this, I'm like, you like start, you know, I'm just twitching, looking at that piece of pyrite right there with that mm -hmm. copper going into it. That guy right there. Mm -hmm. The fact mm -hmm. that that copper is balancing on your... Right? When, fucking when that happened, I'm just like, oh, that's just sexy. I don't care who it's the fuck sexy. you are. So, it, uh, it, it almost is up there. Uh, it's almost up there with the birthday cake grid, but not quite. Because right, you know the birthday cake, it was it looked like a birthday cake, you know. But right, right. this is like at least number two. Well, the birthday cake was for my birthday, so. And guess who else's birthday it is this month? Sir Leo Chad. season. It'll be when you guys when you guys watch this on August 11th. My birthday will be on nine days later, August 20th. How do we want to play around? Chad Diamond Damber, right? Let's go. How do I want to do this? How do I want to... We're going to put this ET communication. I like that. I just had this thought of like... Okay. A narration with like an accent, like it, you know, it's like Bindi or Ruin or whatever. <laughs> you know, like you're the like you're the crystal gr grid builder in the wild. He is now pondering which alien ET crystal to put in the left hemisphere. Mm. Those hemispheres, they're tricky. They are. Yeah, that was good. Are you going to have the Mookite connected on the outside, do you think? I'm thinking so. That's what it's looking like. Oh, that's a beautiful fucking piece right there. Right? Rex, I just thinking, like, how oh, damn. That's a chunky ass motherfucker. She chunky, she chunky, she liking on my digging on my monkey. She chunky. I mean, I like a little chunk, chunk in the trunk. You dig? <laughs> you just need something to hold on to. Mm -hmm. That's all I require. Exactly. You heard a first lady from the available bachelor himself, Sir Aaron Twist. He just needs something to grab onto. The crows agree. Yeah, as I say that. <laughs> the crows, yeah. You know those motherfuckers got your back out there. Crows are interesting creatures. I love that they like remembered you and know, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. Very smart. 
Yeah. You give that crow a piece of bread out there, they'll remember you forever. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I and if you shoo it away, they'll fucking hate you too. You know, like. Oh yeah. You're smart. The, the other day, I was hang, I was at work, and all of a sudden, the fucking crows started going crazy. Uh huh. And I was like, "What the hell's going on?" And when I went outside just to take a little break. There was a dead crow on the ground. Oh. It was during one of those heat waves. So it's p possible that it like flew into the... Heat exhaustion? Like either heat exhaustion or flew into the building next door mm. and hurt, killed itself. So I felt bad, so I did the right thing. I picked him up and brought it to... Well, I, I basically threw it away because I didn't have a place to bury him or the equipment to do so. And it's like, I did my piece. I, I'm sure, sorry, man. sirs. I really like that sunstone. I gotta get a, a nice new chunk of that. Which one? Uh, just, I just need some sunstone in my life, you know? Yeah. So do you want these big polished guys? I kind of want a, I want like a big one, like the size of that polished one, but like a raw. This is a black sunstone. I want something like one of these little guys, but like a bigger piece, like a, you know? Okay. They come in that raw form? Yeah. Or in that raw form? That are bigger? Bigger? I don't, I don't know. Scooby Doo Wap. Scooby Doo Wap. Mm -mm -mm. What you're seeing is a genius at work right now, folks. Do you have your grids planned out pretty much for the end of 2022? I have them all the way through August of 23. Next year. Nice. Shoo doo up. Bloodstone in my life. There's a hell of a lot of bloodstone. A little bit of moldavite by my side. A little bit of damberite is all I need. That would actually probably be a funny parody to take that sound and just replace it all with crystals, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Just say yes. Yes, it would be. It would be Thank you. fairly amusing. The visuals is what would make it funny, though. Yes. Oh, yes. That fucking... Bloodstone is beautiful. I like that he got that one, like, red bloodstone. Right, they just kind of... Made his way in there. Right. Well, because it is all these different colors, so... Maybe a couple bloodstones. You got two. Can you put them in the middle? With the rest of that little bunch? That's what I was thinking. We can go in there. Hmm.
like it's like you're powering up the inner core with elements from the outer core. Mm -hmm. Blast off. Last but not least, y'all see it, the Mookite, which I requested for this grid probably this time last year. All I need a little bit of Monica by my side. What do you got to say about the Aquarius, Aquarius energy of this moon? Anything else on top of what you said earlier? Uh, let's see. Well, Aquarius is very free-spirited and not at all down to earth. <laughs> but, like, you want to get shit done and you want to get shit out of your way? Aquarius is pretty good for that. Because, well... The general Aquarian method for dealing with problems is, I'm going to go that way. Mm. <laughs> Just like, no, no, what's going on here? That doesn't seem right for me. Yeah, this weird little path over here feels good to me. <laughs> right? It's like, I might get lost if I go this way. Sounds great. <laughs> Guys, just see to show you real quick. Tripping balls on the TV. I think we're gonna have to do like an anniversary. I mean, we. I think we're already over our one year anniversary on YouTube, aren't we? I will it might check. I don't know. No, we started in January, I believe. Maybe we should do like our one year anniversary show on mushrooms and build it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just a little bit for me since I'm a lightweight, but still like It'd be fun. I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how that would <laughs> communicate too well. <laughs> but I can't say no to a good A little bit of Monica is all I need. Monica Lewinsky? No. Shout out to Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, okay. I don't know where this shit comes from half the time, bro. I'm like, I, I, I know. I accept it. I know. <laughs> At least you just accept me for me. That's cool. Hey. I gotta accept those who accept me. Because mm -hmm. uh, I just look at you like, why? Exactly. <laughs> why do you accept me like this? I, I'm strange. <laughs> I'm a strange duck in a strange pond. Like, I got bored one day and created a goddamn, like, sleep paralysis void demon. <laughs> because I wanted to do a thought project. <laughs> and you want to know my response? <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs>
Like, <laughs> how on earth can anybody be that nonchalant about creating something that would be another person's like worst nightmare? All right. Yeah. Did I tell you about that thing? No, I think I read something online. Like you posted something, but like I don't know if I should tell you because then it will be in your consciousness so i'm just wondering if it's about to be in my consciousness now well it was one of those things where it's like the more i thought about it i'm like yeah this thing's like a fifth dimensional entity that i saw forming itself within a different outer dimension and now yeah let's talk about it what did you see oh <laughs> what was the process let your youtube fans know all right one second but continue the build, because my arms can only last for so long Yes. Here. Well, let's see. Starting, imagine yourself walking down or in a large white void. When I say white void, I mean hospital white. Jeez. Oh. Bright and like painful to the eye. You can't see the horizon. You can't see like where the actual ground is. You just know that there's something beneath your feet. <laughs> so you're walking around Fuck. in this white space. And then as you're walking, all of a sudden you see this hole coming from the distance. And it's a fairly large hole. Imagine like 30 foot across. Like it's a Actually, no, make it bigger. Let's make it like 50. It's a 50 foot it's a big hole. hole. It's a big ass hole. But this hole is so black. It is a matte black. Mm. And those of you who know, matte black is basically um, so black that light can't even pass through it. Yeah. So. That's a that's black black. That's some black ass shit. And then you sit there staring at this hole like, wow, this is a black ass hole. <laughs> <laughs> and as you're staring into it, you hear this voice start talking in this very amalgamous, echoed mumble. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck is that? And then off into this hole, you see these two eyes glinting off like, with like golden, like a cat's eyes in the dark. Mm. Right? And as you sit there and you're focused on it, like, what the hell am I seeing? It's like the voice slowly like starts clearing up. Like, and it's like, but it's like these, the, as you can start hearing it a little bit clear, you notice that the eyes that where they were didn't necessarily move closer, but they're bigger. Mm. Not like they've grown, but they've come more into the reality you're in. Mm. And as that's happening, you also see this large Cheshire grinned mouth showing up <laughs> as it's talking to you as this multi overlaid voice comes through. And as you're sitting there and uh, just listening to this voice and it starts, you start hearing it talking to you. It's like, hi, how are you? I'm gonna be my friend. I wanna play. Let's talk. And then you start, you start realizing that this voice starts getting clearer and clearer. You start to recognize it. It's like this overlaying of all these voices and persona of people that you've admired and respected and loved mm. all your whole life. And it's just sitting there and talking to you. And it's like as you start to recognize the overlaid voices for what they are, its face starts to appear. But it's like this golden amorphous like mass that's just ever moving and changing like it's made out of lava but it's golden wow. and all that so it's like sitting there and talking to you very getting, visual <laughs> right getting more and more clear as you hear it speaking and you start listening to it over and over again and then the more you begin to recognize the voices, it starts morphing into one singular voice, a voice of somebody who is very important to you. That means a lot that you love and respect, admire, like more than anyone else. 
And as that face starts to form into that person, the voice matching theirs, you realize more than anything, this is the person you fear to disappoint the most. Mm. And the moment that thought hits the back of your subconscious, not even in your full reality, it starts pulling apart each and every flaw you've ever had. Wow. Every mistake you've ever made in pulling and feeding off of that insecurity and fear. And the more and more it does this, the more and more it takes on their visage and their face and their voice. And it's like you can hear that disappointment mm. and that like just sadness from all the failures you've ever achieved and experienced and if so you were to fall into this void and basically tumble into its depths you would essentially be falling into an endlessness that does not stop and you essentially lose access to your own body Coming nothing more than a husk for this creature's will to dominate because all it wants is to spread its awareness and existence to become more and more real in this reality but say you go to pull back you pull away letting fear of what's happening and your shame push you away instead that thing will reach out and grab your face with these long spider-like hands and claws grabbing your soul and essentially ripping it from your existence but if you're able to get away wake yourself up back to reality you sit there in the darkness and realize you're no longer alone because as a light from a car passes by your window a shadow shoots up on the wall. This large being, this pure dark, empty blackness with this golden face sitting there and watching you, wanting you to share who it is so it can affect more and therefore become real in this reality so it may interact and control it. On the other side, <laughs> to defeat this thing it is very simple but also extremely hard because what is one thing or what are the things that somebody who loves and respects or that you have love, admiration and respect for is that they also have those emotions and feelings towards you that being said if you have achieved self-awareness and through that self-acceptance, self-confidence, self-worth self and self-love, like if you accept yourself, if you're aware of who you are and your flaws, you know your mistakes, but you also know your mistakes are not you. Mm. Like if you have that confidence, that understanding of like, I'm not a perfect person, but where I am and who I am, I am happy with, that thing cannot go grab a hold of you. Because how can somebody that you love, admire, and respect ever be disappointed in you if you own yourself to the, such degree that you are aware, you accept, and you choose to do something about it, right? Know thyself. Know thyself and own thyself and no mm. one shall ever have control over you and you know i thought about this whole thing over a couple of days and so, <laughs> this that, is that fucked. story was intense dog i was like yo that would make a sick little short film or something like it's like this would be a great movie or yeah. a book or like a monster in a video game or like D&D &D or some shit yeah, it was well, deep dog the same like cuz the whole idea i had is like what would happen if you took Freddy Krueger, the clown from It, and the other mother from Coraline? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Just put it all together. <laughs> Fucking the what other What kind mother. of horrific monstrosity will I have created? I think that's what you described, basically. And that's what I did. And it's like, holy shit. But then I also realized the way this thing formed itself was as if something passing through the fourth dimension. You know, because when something passes through the fourth dimension, it's like we may perceive it as small at first, but that's just a sliver of what's come through into our reality. So the more it comes in, that thing stays in that same place, but is larger and yet still whole. Yeah. It's just, there is now more of it. And that's how this thing kind of came into existence. Because the more of awareness that was put towards it, and the more you focused and looked at it, the more and more it became real and took on the form of what it was trying to achieve. Mm. And uh, being that said, if it was traveling through the fourth dimension, that means it's potentially a being or a creature of the fifth, <laughs> which is something of pure manifestation and thought. So did I just create this thing and bring it into re reality? And the fact that I've been talking about it nonstop for about a week and a half now. And then you just told the entire story, which we broadcast just... through another screen, which is another mirror and reflection to the rest of the world. Right, and I was on YouTube. <laughs> so my question is, did I just fuck up? <laughs> well... We but might, at the same time... We might have to just cut that story out and post that as a separate video, too. I mean, we could do both. Because, shit, this whole so thing is like... Access. I've also fully embraced the fact that if I am now destined to become this thing's herald into this reality, well, who am I to deny my calling? Exactly. Right? I hear you. Because essentially, Ow. the thing that really stuck out to me about it as I was making bringing it into re reality it's like this is like a bad trip become manifest mm. you know this is the concept of fucking around and finding out and realizing you did not want to find out and there's a there's a lot of people going through that right now you know what I mean? have you ever had a bad trip nope i had potentials for it to go bad I'm but I took, yourself down. I took on the role of like Hi, I am here to observe. I am not walking through any doors being ushered open to me by some creepy ass looking people. Mm -hmm. And then once, she's just having that awareness during the trip that yep, you, I am just awareness viewing this right now. Basically. Exactly. So that could work with any type of medicine that you yes. that type of medicine do. And at the same time, being that I did not touch any kind of psychedelic until I was 26, 27. So basically, I had a fully formed brain and psyche at that point, mm -hmm. and it had already been delved into, like, through meditation and stuff. <clears throat> so I had, I had trips without being on drugs. Okay, that yeah. shit's fun. <laughs> so, yeah, it can, I've yeah, heard so of it. It's like all about the mindset that you put into things, and this is a really bright, kind of beautiful color. Multicolored uh, gritty yeah. going on here. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Joining the softness of it, even though it's an intense grid. <coughs> I mean, while we go into you or the Facebook, start to stagger the bloodstone and sunstone. Move them around a little bit. Yeah, like have it so like they're alternating. Because you know it's like. It feels separated like this, but I, I like it. But it like, does, it does. Right? It's like there's a bit of a separation, but let's fix that, you know? We have all the ability and right to do so. Ground this shit Energy down. feels good, though. Spinning it. Right. This thing gets me sweaty, but it could also be that it's humid. I mind, just had a thought that the demon, lots of water. that the demon, whatever it, is, whatever, it is, mm. whatever it is that that you created, his name is Toby. Toby, <laughs> I, 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 I was very Toby. purposely not giving it a name because <laughs> there is a power in a name, and you give something a name, and now it becomes even more real than it's just. It's an entity right now. Toby, Toby. <laughs> oh yeah. 
All right, we got to seal the deal. Full supermoon in Aquarius, sturgeon moon in Aquarius, like I said, 2022, August, August 11th. Aaron seals the deal with the smoke of the gods, which also gets him in the mood for his TikTok videos. Speaking of that, I'll figure out what we're going to do today. We should do Mookite. I don't think we've done Jasper yet, have we? I was holding off because it's like there's so many different Jaspers. I should just do like a generic one. Like it's just Jasper. Yeah. <coughs> Cause I mean, it's been around for so long. All right, folks. Yeah. Last words. This is our grid. So just kind of keeping in mind that we are working to reap the seeds of our harvest. Mm. We are here to obtain from that which we've put in. We are receiving from the work that we've done. And just because we're starting to harvest doesn't mean we stop. Yeah, keep going. Right? This is a process. It is work. The more you keep working, the more you can achieve and the more that can get done. And the more you can truly see what you've brought in. So that being said, go enjoy yourself. Go t cut out all that bullshit. Yes, like, sir. Get rid of anybody telling you, oh, that's too much work or you don't need to do that. Or blah, blah, blah. It's just like... Work it because you know it's going to be worth it in the end. All right? If you work it, it will be worth it. Later, y'all. Gridmaster. Right? I was thinking, it's like, there's a, that's an actual song. <laughs> I, I don't you're, think you're it like... goes in the way we think it's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Much Co love. Comment below. Hit that subscribe. Share the videos, please. We love you. Right? Let us know what you think. Appreciate you.